Hey guys, it's Nimius. So the voting gauntlet just started, and we already know what it's about, it's about the mages. But there's probably a few things you guys don't know about, so I'm here to give you a few tips and a bit of advice. Most people don't realize this, but one of the most important things you can do in the voting gauntlet is decide it in the first 10 seconds of pressing the voting gauntlet. Well, maybe it's not 10 seconds if you don't know who you're backing. But whoever you back now, you have to be certain about. So, I want to run you through three points. Uh, the first is whether you want to back a hero you like. And the second point is whether you want to back the hero that is most likely to win. And the third is whether you want to maximize the feather gains you get out of this round. Out of, out of this voting gauntlet. The answer to all three of those might not be the same hero. So let me put it this way, for, for feather gains, if you want to maximize feather gains, you want to pick the losing hero. The main reason for that is competition. Feathers are, term, are determined by rankings, and the more people on one side, the more competition you have. And the more competition you have, the lower, the less likely you are to be ranked highly, and the less, and if, if you're not ranked highly, you don't get maximized the feathers you gain for that round. You... So I'll just give you an example. So if if you're backing Robin, and Robin's a fairly popular character, you're, you're going to compete with thousands of other players. But if you back who he's facing, and I guess that's Merrick? He's not a, as popular of a character. There might be only a thousand people. So, you know, you all, max, you all get your maximum feathers. That's probably not going to happen. But if you put any amount of effort, and you don't even have to use flags, and you can get a ton of feathers out of it. You want to... If you want to maximize feathers, that's what you do. Okay, secondly is if you want to be on the winning side or not. Each, obviously, each time you win a round, you get a slight feather bonus. So, how if you want to win all the rounds, I would say pick a waifu. <laughs> Come on, we all know the true answer to this. The voting gauntlet. The winner is going to be old. This is going to be a girl. Yeah. Guys vote for waifus more often, and you know there's not many girls that play this game. But I know you guys, I know <laughs> girls play this game. Jeez, uh, don't blow up on me. Though, you know that's what part of this part of it, whether you wanna be on the winning side or losing side. So, and that leads to the final point: whether you wanna back the hero you like or you wanna. <sighs> sorry, if you wanna back the hero you like or not. If you want to back the hero you like, and they happen, and you know they're gonna lose, then you know it's not all bad. You can get more feathers that way. But alternatively, if you want to be on the winning side and actually see the you win screen, some people don't know this, but the you lose screen sucks. I've tapped it a bunch of times with Minerva. If you watched my last video, you know it sucks. It hurts. If you want to see that for like two more, two, three more weeks. Because I accidentally clicked the voting on it quite frequently, and I, I've seen it a bunch of times. Yeah, that might not seem like a big point, but it's going to bother some people. Anyways, those are the main points. you, you got to decide whether you want to be on the winning side, back the hero you like, or you want to get the most feathers. In my case, I'm backing Tharja, and she's probably the most likely to win hero. But I know as a result, I'm probably going to get less feathers uh, from each round. Though that's alright with me because as someone who has to see Minerva's you lose screen a bunch of times, yeah, that's the trade off I'm willing to take. Yep, and then you pledge your support. So I pledge to Arja. Um, I guess there's not much more to talk about, but I just want to mention to you guys: you guys should save your fe uh, save your flags. The reason being is, if your team is winning, there's no reason to burn flags. You should save your flags for when your team is losing, and... I know it's- I know... If you check your rewards, you're probably not gonna get many flags each round. But, if you care about the grand scheme of things, which is winning, you should save it until the rounds where you are losing. And then not only when you are losing, but when you have the losing bonus of three times. So yeah, um, basically to summarize, decide what you want the most out of the voting gauntlet, and then save your flags for where, when it really matters. Oh, and um, pick Tharja. <laughs> Let's get her to win. She's probably gonna win anyways, but yeah.
Anyways, I'll, do, I'll, I'll also make future videos on the conclusion of each round. And I suppose I should talk about one more thing. Um... Jeez. How do I go back and see... See the, who's facing who? I guess you can't, can you? Well, okay, I think Tharja wins this round. And I, th I think Sanaki wins her round, and then it's gonna be Tharja and Sanaki. And I think Tharja will win that. And on the male side, I think Robin will win his, and I think Leo will win his, and it'll be... I think Robin will beat Leo, to be honest. And then Tharja will beat Robin. But we'll see if that actually happens. That's my prediction for how the gauntlet's gonna look like. Anyways, if you guys like the this con kind of content, leave me a like, or subscribe, or comment, just let me know. Uh, if you want to chat, uh, I'm happy to chat too. Anyways, this was Nimius, and this was the this little spiel about the voting gauntlet. Hope you guys enjoyed, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.